The Prime Minister has been accused by the SNP of treating the Scottish Government like a disobedient child over its opposition to the Brexit timetable. In a heated Commons debate, MPs traded arguments and insults over what leaving the EU will mean for Scotland in the wake of coronavirus. Here's our Westminster correspondent, David Porter. People have spoken and the answer is, we're out. Four years on since this dramatic moment, the UK, though not Scotland, had voted for Brexit. Brexit! Joy for some, despair for others. With less than six months to go until the UK leaves the single market, the arguments are still raging. And in particular, what happens to powers returned from Brussels? Westminster's plan to impose an unelected, unaccountable body to rule on decisions made by the Scottish Parliament will not be accepted. The decisions of the Scottish Parliament must and will be decided by the Scottish people. What he wants, by contrast, is barriers, trade barriers, Mr Speaker, between England and Scotland. No, no, nobody able to use sterling uh, in sterling. He, talk about, he talks about unelected and unaccountable uh, people. What he wants to do, Mr Speaker, is hand the powers that we would give back to Scotland from this Parliament to Brussels. Later, MPs settled themselves in for a wide-ranging debate on Scotland. Brexit, Covid and, of course, the Constitution. This debate is not about stopping Brexit. We accept and we regret the fact that that has happened. It is about extending the transition period in order to avert a self-imposed economic disaster. I'm going to call on the SNP to adapt. Try cooperation. Try helping. Try finding some common ground for the sake of all our businesses and citizens. Tomorrow, another meeting between ministers in London and Edinburgh and more details of how the UK's new internal market will work. They may be talking, but they're definitely not agreeing. David Porter, reporting Scotland, Westminster.